I'm asking how I do this, so heat up the iron, scalp a bit, and stick it in. Kind of let it go, and as soon as it goes through, it'll really start to let you move around a bit. Slowly work it, don't get in a hurry. Otherwise you won't be able to do your fine edges. And you might want to wear a breathing mask or something. Take your time, make your cuts, follow the pattern the skull. You only have to do it once, so don't be in a hurry. Even if you do mess up, you can come touch it up later. You're going to end up with some lost material in the cavity between the spaces that are cut and as that stuff hardens it'll wipe off or peel off one way or the other so again for this I'm trying to just follow decorative grooves that were placed on the skull out of the factory Taking my time. Try and keep your scalpel aimed away from your hand if you can. Come on. Actually, I don't think I'm going to take it all the way back because I had a hard time getting my hand in when I did just the front half. Plus, it's an unnatural seam anyway. I'm going to follow this path. You can see once it's hot, it actually cuts fairly well, you know, like you might have with a jigsaw. It's obviously a lot more control. It's just good for something like this. Where you have, you don't want straight cuts. You want to kind of follow the pattern. So when you put it back in, it kind of looks like it still belongs. Here's some more pattern I'm going to try in detail. This particular tool works really good on pumpkins. And it probably smells a hell of a lot better, too, when you're cutting a pumpkin versus a plastic skull, which probably has who knows what kind of chemicals in it. All right. All right, and we're gonna come down the middle. Let's turn it this way. This doesn't really have a pattern on the back part of the skull here, but this does, so we're gonna try and follow that again. I'm being careful trying to follow the detail. 
they established in the mold when they built it. there. Patience is a virtue. So, should be able to push it apart. And if you find an area that's not completely cut through, just detail it carefully in those areas. Run your knife back through. thankful that you took your time doing it. There you go. Remind you, that plastic could be really hot, so wait for it to melt before you go picking around at it. But, uh, yeah, that's it. All these hard edges, you can pick off any of the plastic bits that are kind of melted off. Just pick them off and you'll expose the detail that we preserved. So that's kind of what you want to do, just pick off all the extra detail, all the extra plastic, the melted material in between the cuts, and try and leave the detail so when you put the other piece back on, it kind of looks like, you know, a mad scientist cut and you cut it off, intending to put it back on later. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go turn off my iron and clean it now. You can clean this off just with soap and water once it starts to cool down a bit. You can use a different razor to scrape off the excess material. So just use a flat edge or another scalpel if you have one and clean it off. But don't go touching it like that. 